Hey there, and welcome back to the video series about how we can create a Firebase real-time database CRUD web application uh, using JavaScript and HTML and CSS. And uh, I created a directory for this uh, on my computer and uh, created an index file, index.html file. And to keep, uh, to speed up things a little bit, just uh, I've put some of the basic boilerplate code in there so you can see how this works. Uh, so we have a standard HTML template here. We have title, we have materialized that we are important using uh, the CDN. And then we uh, make uh, a container from materialized. We make a header, insert an image. A Firebase image and you can of course choose whatever you want to do there uh, make a headline there for real-time database and then we have the JavaScript dependencies down here uh, so we can see if we head over to to the browser it's going to show this so uh, we need to build just a little bit more so down here under the H4 um, first we're just going to have a break there to have a bit of spacing and then we're going to make the actual uh, the actual HTML form so we can input some reviews in our app here. So first we need to have a uh, form. And let's just give it an ID here. We don't need the action right now. So let's call it review form. And we need first we need to have an input field and should be hidden actually because we need to show uh, to store the the ID of the review and we don't want actually to uh, dis display it to the user so we're just going to show a, a hidden ID there and an input type there and then we're going to make a new div here for our first input field we're going to have as we saw in the previous uh, web app there, we're going to have uh, the full name and we're going to have uh, the actual review contents and then we're going to have a button so we can add or update. So the first one here is called, let's just call this whoop, div class input field here. And it's going to have a label and it's going to be the full name. So that's the full name. Then we're going to have the actual input type. And the ID is going to be full name. And let's see here. We got the ID there. And that closes the diff. So that was one input field. Yeah, we're going to copy this one there. Because we need one for the review. Oops, for the review contents. Let's call this message. And that should be a boop. That should be a text area. So we're actually able to type more than one line here. And materialize text area. Just need to provide a an ID for this message. Don't need to have the columns or rows right now, so that is basically it. So let's see if how it looks in our app there. So now we can see down there that we have uh, the text field full name, and we have our text area, so we can actually type uh, multiple lines as opposed to one text field. So just to keep a bit of spacing there to the one down there. So then we're going to need a button because we need to be able to actually submit something to our database. So I'm just going to provide a bit of styling from materialize. So we're going to call this waves effect, waves light button. And that determines how the CSS is going to style the, uh, the actual button. Right, we're going to call this add or update because it's going to have a dual function that we can both use it to, to add a new one, uh, as in the CRUD operations, or update one. Right, so it ends the form here. And the last thing we need to do is we need to kind of prepare a placeholder for all of our reviews. And I'm 
going to use a, a UL for that that we are going to populate in the JavaScript code. So we're going to call this reviews. And it's just going to be empty because uh, we have the ID. So we can get the element in JavaScript and we can uh, populate it using Firebase. Right. So how does that look one here? Yeah. Probably we could use some extra spacing in the bottom here. So we have a really, really basic setup here. Okay, and you could probably enhance this even further on, but we have the full name, we have the review contents, we have the add and update, and we have a title. Okay, so uh, this is the basic front end setup now that we don't have a framework to work with. And uh, this is probably need to correct this one there review contents. And one thing that we also need to prepare for, we're going to do this in the next video, is that we need some actual JavaScript to work with this HTML file. Okay, But this is the basic setup, the basic front end. So in the next video, we're going to uh, start setting up Firebase and we're going to code a bit of JavaScript. Okay, so have fun with this and bye-bye.